Right, hello again. Here we are at the Care for Calais warehouse, uh, obviously in Calais, France. And what I've got in front of me here are uh, pre-packed food packs. Uh, I say pre-packed because the team here, the half a dozen guys who have all come in and volunteered today, uh, we uh, have put together these food packs to do a drop uh, for the Sudanese guys who are all living rough around uh, the Gare du Nord in Brussels. Now, what I want to do is show you what goes into the, the process of making the food packs and what you need. First of all, you need good cardboard boxes. Sounds simple, but they're quite expensive, but that's a good way to get uh, the most stuff packed in an efficient size. Uh, then you need your bags. We've got a lot of little red bags here that have been donated, and they're sort of like, uh, like a paper type thing. You sort of think like a bag for life that you get at the supermarkets. You put your stuff in there, tie them up, and uh, we're getting 15 to 20 uh, bags in uh, each box. Actually, we're getting squeezing 20 in at the moment. Now over here was the production line. We've actually finished now. Uh, so we had, we had eight items in these food packs. We had water, 50 centiliters. We had a bag of peanuts, 250 grams. It's quite a luxury, but it was about 70 cents. Uh, in Aldi. We had a fruit drink with a straw. We had a can of sardines. Notice the ring pull. Ring pull sardines is what you need. Again, they were 70 cents from either Aldi or Lidl. We had little biscuit packs that came in multiple packs. And we'll give two of those to each person. We had two oat bars which we're going to give to each person. A pair of boxer shorts. A Ziploc bag for toothpaste and toothbrush. Then we also had small, medium, large t-shirts. Uh, t-shirts and socks, Tarek. Yes, t-shirts and uh, boxers. T-shirts and boxers. So uh, what we've done is we've pre-sorted everything and we've made batches. We did... I forget what we did. How many medium did we do? 400. We did uh, the 400 ba uh, bags we're taking. We did 200, what was that? 200 medium. 200 medium. 150 small. 150 small. 50 large. And 50 large. Tarek, tell me how long it's taken to pack. If you have efficient tea in. We have done like 350 till now. It uh, took us with break one hour and 30 minutes. With an efficient team, with sweating efficient your team. Yes. backsides off. Yeah. 100 and one, no, 350. 350 we made in one, uh, one hour and 30 minutes. Okay, that doesn't include undoing all the packaging from all the boxer shorts, removing all the bloody cardboard, no. all the plastic wrapping from the bottles, sorting them into boxes. So give another hour for that. Plus, you've got to allow for the shopping. Uh, we have to go to different places to get the quantity because what happens is, uh, with just-in-time uh, retail now, no one holds stock. So when you go and ask them for uh, 400 cans of sardines, you know, they're really struggling. So you have to go to two or three different places. Uh, so I would suggest you really need to do your research beforehand, try and get the best value uh, for the best quantity, for the best amount of calories here. Uh, so calories per euro, you know, something tasty, something you guys can enjoy. And this is our second food run of the week. Uh, early on during the week, we did one on Tuesday. Uh, we took 300 food packs and there weren't enough. We did 300 and there were still another 100 or so guys uh, who weren't getting any. So here we are from uh, Care for Calais. And uh, the guys uh, are working on a Saturday afternoon uh, getting stuck in. And they all want to say uh, goodbye and uh, we'll catch you guys later.